January 5, 1921, is a milestone for North Carolinian women. On this day in history, Lillian Exum Clement took her seat in the State House of Representatives as the first woman to hold legislative office in North Carolina. Lillian Exum Clement was born near Black Mountain in 1894. She began studying law while working for the Buncombe County Sheriff's Office and became the first woman in North Carolina to open her own law practice. In 1920, Clement was asked to run for a seat in the North Carolina House of Representatives. She won the general election by a landslide. At the age of 26, Clement took her seat in the state legislature. During her time as a representative, Clement introduced 17 bills, 16 of which passed. One bill, known as the Clement Bill, called for private voting booths and a secret ballot throughout North Carolina. One of Lillian Exum Clement's most controversial projects was advocating that the Lindley Training School, a home for unwed mothers and delinquent girls, become a state institution. Although her plan stoked a hostile reception, Clement remained steadfast and argued for the project until it became a reality. Clement decided not to run for re-election and died from pneumonia in 1925. She pioneered the way for women holding public office in North Carolina, and her legacy lives on today.